How is it? How is everyone? Because it sounds still it sounds really weird not having any music in the background. I have my headphones in. I just got to remember not to cough, sneeze, or fart. Or if I do cough, cover it with a fart. That's next door's dog. Oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah, Gareth, I got into trouble with the Facebook police. Hello, Matt. So these are the little bitty design car stands you can you can get. So I just amused myself with the... I've actually bought a ton of these and then forgot about them. So... I got some playtime stuff to do. Normal normal life has resumed, as in I've gone back to work, which is nice and stressful. Yeah, Aaron, if you can crank your own music up, that'd be wicked. Or I can tell you what I'm listening to, and we can have a silent disco. Mind you, my stuff's pretty horrific, as I've been told on numerous occasions. How is everyone? Very stressful here. You know, like to sort of uh, normal life is resuming. My kids are both at school. Well, that's a small horse jumping on the roof, as in a cat. Um, well, my kids are both at school. If the school was open for my son, because his teacher's been ill. So he's been off. And we've opened our shop. So we've been doing, we've had no staff, just us, and um, opening with just the three of us for four hours a day. So, oh, So trying to get back to some sort of normality now, or the new normal, as it's been referred to quite a lot. Right, so we have here. An extreme twister, or well, extreme dynamics, whatever they want to call it. This is to mimic uh, the crash helmet of a very well known MotoGP rider of yesteryear, Wayne Rainey. I'm sure it's Wayne Rainey. I'm hoping that Andy will be on in a bit, Mr. Hyde. And he's going to give us all a lesson on what the design's about. Um, apparently you have to buy each song. Um, if anyone could help me out, I mean, I, I have listened to a little bit of... Um, non-copyrighted stuff but there's a reason it's non-copyrighted because it's sh shocking <laughs> try not to swear uh, not my cup of tea not my taste at all so tonight's stream is purely a facebook thing and then the next stream will be on twitch and i'm going to switch it over and because obviously the streaming quality on here is terrible but My regulars will follow me between the two, but the general unwashed um, stay on Facebook and don't come over. So every so often I like to come back over and say hello. So hence why I'm here this evening. Because I, I could be stubborn and just go, oh, I'm only going to do uh, streaming on Twitch, but uh, I don't stream for profit profit a stream for amusement and uh, I'd like to annoy as many people as I possibly can
Is the quality quite good then this evening? Do you know, I, uh, Lee, I do actually have a PRS uh, a license for my shop, for my for my work. But I just don't know what I can get away with for stream. And now, um, the last couple of times, I've been hitting some silly numbers on um, on the streaming. I mean, like, uh, where was it? We are in, we're in, so January, February, March. So May, I was I hit my all time high, which was uh, fifty four thousand views in a month, and all of a sudden um, I gained what three hundred new followers. Oh, sorry, likes. I've I've got I'm over the thousand mark now for likes, and about twelve hundred and fifty for followers. All of a sudden, that sends flags off, and uh, they they've started paying attention to every stream I do and I now can't I can't what I do is I watch I do it on here and then I, I then load it either from Twitch or Facebook to my YouTube and my YouTube just will not load anything unless they they sort of proof it and if they hear any music on it they just they won't load it up so hence why I'm I've got headphones in I can hear wicked music. Obviously, I've got great taste. But unfortunately, you've just got to listen to me deep breathe or sound like a uh, what was it a bulldog running up a flight of stairs or Darth Vader doing a river dance. <gasps> I'll put my mask on in a minute and I'll shut that. But anyway, so this is what we're doing tonight. So I don't often do race sort of real life shells because I find them very hard to, to do nice straight lines and, and I find that because the, they're so minimal with the, the, the it's got to be I'm digging a hole here absolutely perfect and I like doing squiggles and stuff and oh, that'll do that do oh, and that bit there and then my hand does this and then then everything goes so this is really brutal because it's it is literally, well I've got it written down so I remember it, so silver in this squish, red, then red up to here, that then comes up to here and along, and then down the other side obviously, this bit's white, this bit's black with a red line, and then you've got a whole black front end, which is going to look a little bit weird, and then white around the front, so, oh and this bit's black, and this bit's white. And then you've got my normal lights and grills and stuff. So it's a it's a really brutal, really sharp design, if that makes sense. Well out of my comfort zone. I like doing squiggly stuff like this. I did actually put, there's actually hologram in that. But I backed it with white, uh, black rather than white. I thought that would make it pop out. And it hasn't. So it looks black on camera, it kind of is, but there is a little bit of, so there is a design in there. And I just went, I went super clean, which is not normally what I do. And I just put a B for basil on it. I was quite pleased with that. Never fear, David, you are, actually I've got it masked up, ready to go. I have a pair of F1s in front of you. See that? David R. Ford. I rubbed the swear words off. So we're, we're nearly there, don't worry. And like, you're super patient and you don't mind. <clears throat> Pardon me. So we will get we will get to that. That should probably be the... See, I don't... See, I... Now where I have... So much more to do at proper work. I'm still going to try and stream three times a week. I just might not be as like. What's the word? I got proper, my my priorities have, have had to sharpen somewhat rather than just streaming in my pajamas like I had been doing. Right, so we suppose we get started really. So I have spent ages with the 
verniers out, making sure I had everything absolutely. So I've got like little lines to actually help with my. Cause that that's a does help, right? You've got a line down the centre of the shell, which is the shut line for the door. That's very good to measure off. You can use front arches and rear arches and stuff, but I find the shut lines is is quite a good way to measure off of. If that makes sense. And then I've drawn the design up some of the shut lines or they finished on the shut line so then I can transfer it over and I've spent a lot of time making sure I've it square hello Stevie so I suppose we can start really there's a little red section at the back here so the first job to do is to pull the section out that's going to be black so this is obviously liquid mask I use is the uh, the bitty design stuff and unlike normal I actually let it go off properly and have let it rest and stuff so this has been masked up for a, a day or two I mean I've had a couple of down days N not down as in personally I mean down as in not painting and um, trying to sort my my affairs out as such, get like tidy up the workshop a space a bit, um, get my guns all running nicely, play with my guns a bit more, practice. Um, I sat and watched, rewatched all of season one and half of season two of Stranger Things just while I was tinkering. So it sort of gives you a rough idea of the of the, 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 the sort of time I'm spending out here. Obviously, as the weather gets hotter, aircon, which is that bad boy. I had a go at painting it, it didn't do very well. Good practice though. So this has had two coats of liquid mask, but two coats of liquid mask through a one mil tipped spray gun. I use the, the Schumacher uh, Hobby Knox and it has two coats of uh, Bitty Mask, neat as well, not uh, not watered down. I did try watering it down because obviously you water it down, it goes further. But uh, I was getting my, I was just, it run, it got these tears of joy all around the shell. And then you're sort of cutting through them and it just becomes so I, I use a um I use a bit of, uh sorry a bit have I got the box? I think I've got the box here. I'm not sponsored, by the way, before you start asking. So I use I use a Hobby Knox Ruby. I have two of these bad boys. This is my one mil tipped one. Standard tip is a 0.8. Stand, standard will paint more than it will really well. The one mil tip, it just means you can do two coats rather than three. So I, I, really, I really, and that has been a, a massive improvement for me, the liquid mask, because it, if you can see, I don't know if you can see it, it's, it's absolutely smooth. It's like my head had a haircut. See, um, which means there's no lumps and bumps in it. Which means it cuts super ease easier, smoother. It's not. It's nicer to you. Don't get you don't get the lumps and bumps when you're cutting, and you can feel it sometimes. If you're if you're doing it with a paintbrush, you can kind of feel like the blades dragging through as it hits a high spot. Or a thick bit, thick bit of mask. So obviously, I'm not sponsored, so I can say what I feel. And if you see the shine reflection in the shell, you can see quite how bad the quality of the lexan is on these things. You see all those lumps and bumps. Bear in mind that it's absolutely crystal clear. I've cleaned that. That's just literally. It, you pick up on some of the other brands and you don't 
you can see it's a shine straight back at you. This has got look how bad that is on the on the, on the roof. See how pitted it is. The, the Lexan is. I don't understand what mould they've used. It's it's not just my opinion. I mean, I have here, for argument's sake, another well-known brand. I can do a bit of a rope. can do a bit. This is where I look like a twat. See how much shinier that is, and how much clearer that is. Obviously, these things have these. This is a frontage. So this has a huge roof, so there's a bit of distortion. Uh, no, the liquid mask you can probably get away with. Um, in what normally, I spray it as I'm as I stream. So I spray it on, hair dryer it then cut it out while I'm um, uh, while I'm talking to everyone and then I start painting. So in theory, if you've got a hairdryer, not like a heat gun, just a hairdryer. I have a new hairdryer as well, look. Look at that bad boy. <whistles> Weighs an absolute ton. Um, so you can dry the liquid mask. If you can leave it a day or two, it's better, yes. Um, your first coat light, really light. Sorry, if you're using a spray gun, it's just on. You can do it a little bit thinner, and then the next coat much thicker, and then just let it go off. The second coat, obviously, for longer. The first coat dries a bit quicker because it's thinner. You want it to be like transparent-ish, with a pink hue. I'm not going to stream every other stream on here. Colin, it's just. Come to play music, but not public. No, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, I, I, there there isn't any way around it. I've got to sit here with my luck with my headphones in and try and talk eloquently. Anyway, so. But I, I kind of understand where my the majority of the people that follow me are, and they're here. So I can stubbornly keep going to Twitch and stream to 10, 15 people, or I can come on here and stream to a couple of thousand. Right, so it's going to give my mask a little bit of love. We'll see, I'll stick my face in here in a minute. Always check it for spiders. I've been having some, I don't know if anyone else has been having I've been having some absolutely monster size uh, stag beetles in, around my shed. I've never seen so many. Mind you, I've never spent so much time out here. But been absolute whoppers and they've been fighting to the death as well. Like you, you walk past the shed and there's like the head of a stag beetle and the pincers are moving and it, it's just a head. And it's like, how is that doing that? And then the other one's walking off and it's got no legs. And it's like, that was a proper fight. I wish I'd watched that. So at the moment, it's more stag beetles are a problem than actual um, spiders. But I always check my mask for spiders. Well, that reminds me, Colin. Um, Vava wants to talk to us about uh, if he can stream music for us or for me on here through his record company he did say there was something we could do and he needs to talk to you because I don't understand how that all works and also you've done me those other bits of bling for my um, for my twitch page which I really must get around to installing so I need to pick your brains one day That's better, I can see what I'm doing now. No, never play Beatles songs. I don't, I, well, 
the worst i mean there's no worst one they're all bad but you'd like i stream for maybe four or five hours and then i'll get a, a little uh, little uh you have streamed uh for 35 seconds playing a song owned by and uh and and they'll, and they'll cut it they'll they'll cut them any talking out of it or any music out of it for that particular bit uh tom Right, so we are going to be using I can make a tune out of this soon if I try hard enough my Harder and Steinbeck Infinity CR I have a 0.4 nib in it so it's a CR plus. Um, these are. Sure, I shouldn't do that. These are my favourite so far that I've played with. And this one's got high. This one's very high sentimental value. Um, I also have my. Uh, have I got the box? Mm. So equal. That's my spa. There's a bayers box. Hey. My spa max max three. So the max three is a three tip. Is a point three tip. The infinity is a point four. But I think the Infinity has got better tolerances and it sprays better than the 0.3. Does that make sense? Um, then I also have a really old, well, a really crappy bu uh, budget uh, Bart Sharp. I just spray white through that normally. Then I also have, you can tell I like brushes. Not hair brushes, obviously, because that would be cruel. Um, and then I have a, a, an, an Iwata Eclipse HPCS. Now this bad boy has probably done, let's not exaggerate, I'm going to say 500 paint jobs. And it's lost its, lost its chrome around the inside. And to be honest, it's probably past its best. I mean, this still is one of the better ones to use. This is only like a month old and that's that's the best now but i reckon if that was in better nick that would it would give that it'd be a, a, a toss up between the two obviously don't throw airbrushes that was just a figure of speech especially don't throw them with the cap on because if you catch them wrong you're either going to stab yourself or worse bend your needle oh it's kind of like i told people off then even though I was just mucking around. Ta -da. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get so bad at doing that. The other ones don't make that noise. So that's my spot. I'm gonna put my other brushes to one side and then use one at a time so I don't knock it by accident. It gets in the way. So and we've got all my paint. Um We've got a brand new red to do the red sections, obviously. So we've got it's a wicked red. I thought I'd lost. I thought I'd used all my red. I found this in the bottom of my my secret stash, which is really useful. And my new favourite uh, chrome paint, which is Rich Paint Mirror Chrome. It's from Rich Paint, and the chrome's like a mirror. So it does exactly what it says on the bottle. Mirror. And you'll get that at uh, RDT dash products dot com. Yeah, Tom, completely agree. The Iwata is the easiest by far brush to clean. The Iwata compared to the Infinity. The only downside with the Infinity is it's a 
BS to keep clean. Because the, the Iwata has a nice uh, cap for the, the tip for the needle. This doesn't. This has this like a uh, like a two pronged. I can't show you the quality is not good enough on the camera. Oh, there you are. So you have a, a two pronged tip guard, which you take. You can take off. It just sort of pushes on. Um, but it means it's an absolute what's it to keep clean. I like to bog wash my brush, so I always put a bit of cleaner in, put my finger over the end and spray it back. Can't do that, stab myself, hurts a lot. Or I put that, that prong thing on, or cap, whatever they call it, and then you make this funny tune, because it... You can't get your fingers close enough around it to bog wash it. So it's, it is not the easiest brush to keep clean. Only downside I found with it. I want it cleans easy because there's no seals or anything in it. If you want a good average brush, I want it is definitely the one to go for. If you want a slightly more irritating, if you want the automatics of airbrushes, buy one of these bad boys. But you need to try them all and figure out which one you like because they're all different. And they're like trainers, as in some find you find comfortable, some you don't. And then they try on another pair and then they're like, oh, these are more comfortable. And then they're not. You know, do you know what I mean? It's basically you need to, it, it, everyone needs to try and for their own, for themselves. Right, I'll start now because I've been rabbiting on. Right, so, black section is what we're going to do first. Because obviously with body shells you go darkest through to light, lightest. And then we're going to go from the doing the black sections. We're going to go. I haven't actually figured out what we're going to do for the window frames yet. Because obviously I don't want to do a black window frame around that because it's just going to it's going to be too clashy against the. Uh, so I might I might do a chrome, a dull chrome, not a high chrome. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I could do the inner. I've got an inner frame. I'm gonna. I've got on this. I'll do that as well. So what I do is I, I do an inner frame, a pin, because you sit there with a craft knife, and that's 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 the innards of the window frame. So you know, you can just about see it there. Look. So I've I've cut the inner frame out which means I've got an outer frame and an inner frame. So an outy and an innie. Set with no fluff. But obviously you can't do a black on the outy frame because that then clashes with the bonnet and the roof and it would just look like I've screwed it up. So I'm trying to do, I'm trying not to clash the two, try not to clash the two colours together. Is anyone booked into any real racing? I have my first meetings in my diary. Sorry, my wife's diary. I don't have a diary. I just go, can I go racing? And she goes, when? And I go, blah, 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 blah. And I get back, no, you're taking the piss. And I go, okay, can I do maybe this one? So uh, we have, we have, we have, Compromised. So I shall be at the uh, the first round of the King of Clubs. Well, I'll be at all the rounds of the King of Clubs, um, and then hopefully I'll be as 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 many times down at my local track. I say local; it's still sixty miles away. Uh, I'll be at Eastbourne as much as I can. Um, Perfect storm. I booked in for Colchester, but it's that's the meeting that I had to give up because I was going to be at Eastbourne, Colchester, West London, and apparently three weeks on the bounce is too much. Apparently, so I had to s s step the middle one off. 
And I had two, phone, two phones, Tony. When's payday? So that's very blunt. He knows what I mean. Right, mask on. It's actually getting quite hot in here. So at the moment it's sitting at around 25 degrees. So what's that, 80 Fahrenheit? Aircon. Right, and we're now going to use um, Wicked Colors, so it's Createx, and it's their Detail Black, Detail Black. This will, if you paint, this will change your life. Detail paint, it's 0051, it's the part number. I've got one with the less rubbish written on there. Double zero five one. Oh, you can't see that. Double zero five one. It's called detail black, right? That will transform your detail work. They do it in white as well. They actually do quite a few colours in it now. Um, it's just paint. It's just thinner. It's mixed thinner. You don't have to add anything to it, um, and it gives you a much sharper finish. In fact, I, don't, I, won't, I won't use any other black now. So we have a marble in there. This is nearly at the end of its life, this bottle, so it won't be long before I've got to go and run in and get another one. Hopefully I'll get this tonight out of this. So that's the bottle making that noise, not me. Because I only make that noise when I'm trying to cover a cough. There you go. Right, I know a few of you, a few of you have done this because I've seen pictures. Um, I call it the backhand challenge. Basil's backhand challenge. Hey, I should, I should, I should uh, copyright that. So uh, this brush, well all my brushes, suffer with dry tip, so the paint actually dries on the tip it, at the, before it actually gets sprayed, which gives you a, a rubbish finish. So every so often you'll see me do this, which is physically picking the paint off the end of the tip. Not my best, but there we are. As you can see here, I have written Basil Airbrush. If you would like to sponsor me with some proper logos and stuff, let me know. Um, I'd like to think um, I'm a little bit sarcastic, but I'm honest. Please, I spelt my own name right. So I, I would like I would like to put companies that are helping me along here. You know, grease the wheel, a bit of help. I'll help back if I can. Right. Oh, I just no, no. How rubbish is that? 
Right, we'll ignore that. Because I'm, I'm down to bare bones and my rubber gloves now. I did have quite a good stash of rubber gloves before this, this uh, you know, pandemic thing started. And uh, where I've been painting rather a lot more than I expected to, I've gone through them all. I mean, I think this is, I, obviously I don't, I don't know if I actually class this as lockdown anymore because obviously I have started again um, at work, this is day two. Um, but I guess this is shell number 71. And I, I, I keep a book, a diary of uh, the jobs I've done. And I think this is, I should really double check before I start quoting stupid numbers on here. I think I'm uh, about 130 for the year. So if you can imagine, if there wasn't this pandemic thing, I was on for, I, my target was 300. Whereas now I can sit, sort of set back a little bit, step back a little bit, and I can just go, right, well, that's not achievable. But I think, I think 200 is easy, hopefully. If anyone wants to help me with body shells, let me know. As in, wants me to paint something. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and aim for 200, but I'm going to step down a little bit and not, not do as much. I want to try and do better quality work now. Not that my stuff's been bad, but I just know, you know, it's like you could, rather than go to bed at three in the morning on a weekday and then get up at six, I'd like to go to bed at like 12 o'clock and have like some sleep. Now, rub shells are, are next up. I've got them sitting behind me here, actually. So there's two of these bad boys. They're all, they're all marked up, ready to go. So I have, I have three jobs ready to go. Then I've got another one to start. And then I'm just waiting on stuff that people have promised me. So I, I hold my breath. No, I won't. When stuff turns up, it turns up. I understand that the world's in a really weird place at the moment. Right, so we shall start. So I'm trying not to be, I've got my mask on now obviously, I'm trying not to be sweary and to be sort of vaguely sensible. I don't think it'll last very long, but I will try. Oh, it's my uh, fourth wedding anniversary tomorrow. Four years to the same, that's, that's insane. So the, the current Mrs. Basil is in for some treats tomorrow. So I, I don't really think I can spend the evening in the shed on my wedding anniversary. I'll try, but I don't think I'll get away with it. text message. Wow, 
20 years. So we're, we're, four, we're up to four years now. It's been relatively painless because I've been in here most of the time. That's semi-professional. I just ran out of paint at the right minute. Sounds like a plan that. Boom. Always hold your shell up to a light source and see where you've missed. And I've missed quite a lot actually. Always put a marble in your bottle or marbles or old top deck screws. Right, that's it. I'm going to have to run in and get a new bottle. That is knackered. Empty. I should be too... Well, okay, a minute and a bit. Won't be long. Right, so this is my secret stash of Detail Black, 0051. Oh, I went into focus then. So this stuff, when I got told about it, changed for the better my whole paint process so good old mix there is there, some of the the newer stuff now comes with a, a, a marble already in it obviously you need to give it a good wiggle about because it's been sitting around for a bit This stuff always sprays wicked when it's brand new, because it, it is wicked. That wasn't some product placement then. It is actually it does exactly what it says on the bottle, but it does re, it does actually spray better when it's brand new. I don't know why. Oh, I can't spray into my. Oh. Stupid glove. Right, so now you're looking to see which where you've missed bits.
Obviously this is only like, you'll only realise how important that is when you finish it off and realise that, oh, it's got blotches in it. So if you just hold it up to the light, you'll see where you've got to go slightly. You don't want to, you don't want to obviously put so much paint on it that it's, it's too thick, but you obviously need to get enough so that it covers consistently. Well, it does spray so much nicer than you. When it sprays neater, you can get a thinner line. I'm going to stubbornly see through with this glove. It's not technically a glove anymore. So the beauty of this stuff is you can uh, you can spray it a lot lower PSI and within reason it's touch dry nearly instantly. I wonder if that comes out on camera. There's a serial. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, there are. Look, you see that? There. I don't know if it's going to shut. There. Uh, did I get the light right? Basically, what I'm trying to show is there's a set of tram lines in the in the shot. Am I going to get that right? No. Come on. I get the shine right. And the, in the Le in the Lexan, anyway, what I'm trying to show is there's a series of lines running through the Lexan, which is terrible. I don't notice them until why are they there? Anyway, there's a set of lines both sides in the Lexan. You can just make it out there. Oh, there, there you are. There's a line. You see it? Now, obviously, that's not an issue because you're going to cut it out. But it just shows you how ropey this Lexan is. Spins well. That's how most of my shells go. They, they do that. But generally there's a car on top and it's wheel spinning because it's on its roof. Right, so that's the black done. I suppose it's lights and grills now. Right, so, where are my... Here's something I did earlier. Look at this, look. I've been doing some homework. Right, so, this is how I do headlights and grills. Right? I'll happily show you my process. Please don't ask me for measurements on how big my circles are and, and my, sorry, my ovals. Um, and please don't um, copy my process. Well, no, copy, sorry, copy my process. Don't copy my style. So, so do something different with it. I've noticed a couple now of shells and I'm like, well, that's, that's incredibly similar to one of mine. 
and then you click on the person and you go, oh I know them because they've been watching me obviously I can't stop you from doing it but I would just I will happily show you my process just don't do your own style it's took me a long time to figure out how to do this and most people are a bit think I'm a bit crazy for showing everyone how to do it so please don't prove them right by by sort of ripping me off as they call it so all I do is I have a series out on my from now very knackered um, no Aaron you're fine um, and my very now knackered printer plotter, so cutter plotter, sorry. Um, I've just changed the head on it actually because it, it was tearing rather than cutting. I cut a series of ovals, different sizes, hence the, the larger, and then they go through to the smallest size. And then I put them around the headlight. And that's how I form my lights. So you can't really tell in this light, or this quality of film anyway. On the on the on the Twitch you can see a bit clearer. I will tell you about the Twitch later, that's not that's not terribly important at the moment. Which I'd like some more followers on there, but Now it's a case of making one side look like the other. Because I sort of start on one side, I then just have to mirror it. That's better, that's what I like. Right, so that's that one. I'm looking for reference points to um, line them up so I'm looking for the same gap or roughly the same eye gap from point to point and then point to point so you really can't see in this in this this quality so you're trying to make your points the same so that they don't look lopsided or pissed or boss-eyed or any other derogatory term you can think of for a bit of a la lazy Susan This is where it comes handy. You know, like those those competitions where can you notice the mistake or the bits that have been altered? So you've got two different pictures and they've like changed bits in it. And so you, you look at one and you look at the other and you try and see which bits they've changed. I can do that incredibly easily. So I can kind of work out if I've got my space, then I can return it into the, It's just something I know I'm all right at doing. So I know I can I can kind of get them pretty pretty even. You can sit there and measure them all out. I just don't have the spare time. So you get, I get, I get dry tip, and then also it actually gets dry further down the needle. So it's best sometimes just to take the needle out, give it a clean off between your finger and thumb, and then put the bad boy back in. Then using a bit of white paper or as near white put your paper beneath where you're working well the quality of this there's, there's nothing I'm doing it's the quality of the uh, starts off well and then it just gets worse it has got darker I admit 
nothing's changed it's just the quality of the uh the screen right there so now with a bit of white paper underneath it that's too high psi I don't actually know my PSI number before anyone asks because my regulator is broken. I sort of just spray onto my hand and I know roughly what I need to be at. It alters gun to gun. So you basically you put a frown around it, so you go around the outside, a frown, an eyebrow, or an eyelash. So in theory, when you see this, you'll see there's a lot more detail in it than it's not just black. And then repeat the process on the other side. So now that's done, you then pick out the ovals you don't need anymore. This is where you need a good set of tweezers as well. Now I'm going to keep the smallest ones because I'm going to use those on the, uh, on the, on the brake lights. See, it's gone very dark. I don't understand. Nothing's changed. I don't understand why it's done that. Right, so now you've got your ovals. Well, that's, you can see them nice and clearly. And that's the case of them just ticking off your, your shading. Another gun. 
So you could, I used to do this with one gun, so you'd be literally, you'd spend more time, I'm not, I'm, Andy, I'm not on Twitch tonight. So I used to spend more time cleaning the guns um, than I did actually painting. So I now have so many guns, so I don't have to spend too long cleaning, cleaning the guns down. So this is just a standard white HN22001. So it's Hobby Knox, so basic white. It's it's adequate because all you're doing basically is just just shading in with it. It's not there are better colours, there are better brands, but the, that white works well enough. You can thin it if you want to make it a bit a bit sharper. So that's the headlights done. Oh yes, I'm coming to say because you you're something to do with the uh, um, shot, aren't you? That's about there. Also, if you see these shirts, see, I, I'm, I'm trying not to wang on about the quality. Every single one of these has this dent just there. So see where my finger is. Every single one of these shells has this dent in the in the Lexan. Every single one. I shall demonstrate. There must be something in their mould. Now, I don't have OCD, but that flares up on there, you can see it there, look. Every single one of their shells has that dent in the grill. Oh, you can see the line's clearing now. Um, as you can tell, I'm not a great fan of these. They handle all right. But they're no, they're no DBX. Well, I'll see you at Eastbourne then. I'm aiming to be down at Eastbourne as quickly as we're allowed to. Just waiting for Dar Darren to turn around and tell us when we can actually go down there. Right, so now I'm using my, my bees and my basils. So a bit of masking tape is now stuck on there. I don't understand why it's so dark in the place, but I really don't. So get that centred. I've got a dot to show where centre is. And then hopefully the, the B will stay there when I take the tape away. There we go. Ooh, like I planned that. So move that away. That's my blue Peter moment done.
It's dead centre. Not the dent, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't want to race on my first first time back with a car. I want to see if I can stay within the white lines. <laughs> so I'm gonna just head down, head down to Eastbourne, and just pedal around as many laps as I can. There's plenty of time for racing. I just want to make sure I know where the where the track still goes and if the cast I've not driven this car on tarmac so that'll be a, a bit of a challenge I've only driven this car once anyway so is it new to me right so now it's case of colouring in the B this is where you need a you need a thin brush to do this. So that's the B done. Then we need the magical bit that everyone keeps going on about. How do you do that? How do you do that? So I went on to Google, other engine search engines are available, and I Googled hex. I then put said hex through my cutter, and after a lot of mucking around, I found a size of hex that I liked. And um, I just stick it on the shell and try and reuse it as much as I can before I have to replace it. You probably get five shells out of one of these if you're careful. They lose their tack or they pick up bits of errant dust. And it's a case of trying to keep it square so that it looks right on the grill. And then it's a case of sticking it down nicely and then build the paint up slowly so it doesn't blow behind the back of it. That's the trick. I did, Andy, I didn't want to go to Eastbourne when there was the no uh, no timing. Because I'm quite I'm quite realistic. I'm not racing other people. I'm racing my times, and I know Eastbourne have got my lap times from like last year and the year before that. So I can go down there now. Now that I know CML, I've got race tyres, and I can go and compare myself to my previous self. A bit like Mario Kart with the 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 ghosts. Obviously, I'm now with the, the my new car, or my my version of a new car, and um, I want to go down there and see how good it is. Because when I used it on carpet, the only time I used it, which was at EWS, the thing was insane. So way past my cognitive skills. So I just want to see what it goes like around Eastbourne, and how easy it's put it's put together was. I changed it from an it was given to me with an alley chassis on it so I bought a carbon chassis and put that on it and I just got to make sure I keep it all square and true and yeah looking forward to using it I'm just going to change my music because that's just finished Ooh, oh that's up next I'll listen to that So I'm now listening to, you can see that on here, I've got it attached to myself so I can't unplug it. I'm listening to Art Bat, uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, The Circle, and it's had 9.6 million views, and a lot of those are me. I like listening to music on YouTube. So that's the Silent Disco Part 2. I got a, a T420. I bought a TTO2 as well and I've just wanged that round the garden so that's gonna there's a little club down in Seven Oaks that run on slippy floor and I'm gonna run that round there when that starts up again right so mask on stick well sticky mask on and face mask
Now it's a case of going around the outside of it. Obviously I've gone around and, and pre-cut all these bits out. So there's a there's a fun hour. And I probably spent three hours drawing this. The fun bit no one gets to see. Now can I get away with a small I've got a smaller hex as well. It didn't. It didn't cut as well. Right, we're going to try the smaller hooks on, the, on these sections. Oh, wicked. I mean, yeah, I meant that totally. <clears throat> Oh really? You did you Tom you painted one through what? Through my lessons, blimey. You're brave. I always say uh, I'm no pro, I've just learnt stuff and I thought I'd share what I've learnt. There, there's probably more professional ways of doing it. Um I just, I'm a bit of a tinker and I like to try and work out how things work. This is your shell, uh, Andy. Club doing uh, so I'm just reading back over the uh, messages. I missed a load of those. Uh, it's a club in the southeast, is there doing rally cross? Where's that? Could you imagine like a Joker section on like Eastbourne or, or uh, Aldershot where you could do the, the bug, uh, a jump and stuff? I should need that bit of paper back. Now I have lost many hours doing these, trying to get my hexes to look right. You know, spending them, cutting them on the printer, 
try them different sizes, try different scales, make it try and look right. Um, I'm now on like, I don't know, whatever spec I'm on now, but these are the best ones I've managed, like design-wise. Super pleased with these now. So there's a perspective for you. So that's my thumbnail. And that's the B. Which for some reason is incredibly dark on this camera. Which is Facebook's fault. So I will be streaming on Twitch on Thursday night, God willing. And that will be on better quality. You see how cool the little side bits are because they're slightly smaller hex. Oh, I've been to Rally, I've been to Lydon Hill many, 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 many times. It's my mum's fault. My mum, my mum got me into motorsport. So, and I used to live. I basically lived at Brands Hatch in my youth. Used to go out there all the time, go and watch the racing cars. Um, and then we. I'm in the southeast, so I'm 15 minutes, 20 minutes away from Brands Hatch, and then Lydon Hills probably 40 minutes away. Um, so I'm very lucky that the, the circuits are quite close and they're completely contrasting um, sports. I went to L uh, Lydon a couple of years ago, not the last time they did it, but the year, the year before that for the World Rally Cross. Those things are just insane. And I think to watch, I think World Rally Cross is up there. Very impressive to watch. So is F1, if you don't want to watch any racing. But I'm getting a bit jaded in my old age and I actually want to see cars race. So now we're taking the O's or the, cir the ovals that we had at the front and sticking them in the brake lights at the rear. If I can square them up. Make them look right. I, I, I really was so happy with the World Rallycross coming back, and then it got blown out of all proportions and then it, it got yeah it just it just it just I, I it did like now this is going to sound like a really really shit analogy gt12 it just got incredibly popular pop, popular and then incredibly expensive and everyone stopped doing it and world rallycross has sort of done the same they, they got the FIA involved and they should have just kept it a bit more low-key and uh, I think it'd still be running today if it didn't do that the FIA turned it into this world world series and took it away from all the character tracks started doing it at F1 style venues and it, it in my opinion upset it he took it away from Lydon for sake and took it to Silverstone I mean really killed it killed it killed it if it had been a better track they'd had at Silverstone fine but they were using the Stow circuit which was rubbish
Right, so that's that done. Yeah, so what what what's that what's involved in um in McLaren? Why so so I, I thought McLaren owned Yeah, McLaren did own Lid at some point, Lidden. And Neil uh, took the creditors. I think McLaren wanted to turn Lidden into a uh, a proper test circuit, so they, they bought it with the idea of uh re designing it into something they could have their own headquarters down there and the council were so stubborn they said no I think it's owned still by the uh, oh god he was competing in the World Rallycross last year but he had a ban for thumping somebody the fat lad and his dad still races in the RS 2000s Oh god, I can't remember his name now. There's a family that owned they owned the they owned the, the track. I think they own the track now still. He was driving a mini last year when he was allowed to race. Um so so McLaren owe to get their creditors to release equity. That's mad, isn't it? When you get to that sort of money. High court to get someone to, yeah. Right, so now we're going to do some red. I'm trying to think if I need to do... I'm going to go with the same red as I'm going to use on the rest of the... So a brand new bottle of red. Right, I'm now going to use my Sparmax, because I can, rather than clean one brush three times, just clean one at a time, just give that a bit of a zhuzh through, because I think I had some black in it last time I was using it. I'm on my third or fourth spec of my own homebrew cleaner. There was a recipe I followed off the internet to make my own cleaner and I've, I've increased the strength of it as I've gone through the batches. The first couple of batches were just no better than probably water. But obviously I don't want to make it too aggressive that it starts to knacker my seals in a couple of my brushes. Obviously the water won't get touched because that's got no seals in it. They're trying to well that's what is that how they can sort of get away with having these weird sponsors on their car so they got like this what husky's chocolate is husky's chocolate actually a chocolate company or is that some weird f and they got like a firm called was it splunk they got some really weird sponsors on the car Um, yeah, I made my own homebrew. You could, they, they, if you look for them, there's plenty of recipes on the internet. Um, you can just buy 
kind of household products, mix them about a bit and make your your own own brew up. So I've got two different types at the moment. I've got one with a, a clearer liquid in and one with a bluer liquid in. Sort of base so you so you you get different strengths to it. And I haven't figured out which one I prefer now. That one I've just used, that one was really good, so I've made a note of that. That's why I called strong. So I've been trying with that. I mean you can go you can go buy your cleaner. So you can buy this one here, which Schumacher sell, which is the HN two hundred twenty one which is uh, a reducer cleaner, that works really good. But that's seven quid a bottle. This works out worth my time and mucking around. Oh, because you've got to remember the Sparmax has got all sorts of seals in it still, so you, I, I wouldn't leave it with too much stuff in it. Uh, so Andy, I'm using a, an Infinity um, CR, a um, Sparmax Max 3, and an Iwata uh, H. What is it again? It's an, it's an Iwata Eclipse HP CS. Do I mix this? So is Huskies actually a chocolate firm? Because they have the they have the whole of the rear wing on the on the McLaren. Well, if you if you work on the assumption, Andy, I mean this is just like a, probably a quarter of my collection of paint, and each one of these is what six or seven quid. They're fifteen pounds each. Um, they're forty five pounds each. That's a chrome. And these are these are my uh, my candies, and these are twenty, roughly twenty quid each. I mean, there's there's all my Christmas money just sitting in in eight bottles there that I got. So I'm trying to explain to family. Well, what have you done with your Christmas money? Uh, yes, I bought some candy paint, and they just looked at me like I was me, <laughs> and, they, and they kind of left me alone. So have you managed to save the brush though, um, Colin? Or is the brush F-U-C-K'd? Hello Chris. You haven't missed much, don't worry. Just put my aircon back on because I'm starting to get a bit, bit warm in here again. Right, so now we're gonna we've cleaned the brush out, and we're gonna fire some red through it. There's a couple of bits of dirt in there I want to get out. I say dirt; it's, it's dried old paint. I put this uh, the Craytex do a gloss black, and if you leave it in the uh, gun long enough, it gets this like weird coat to it and it's a real git to get out. Oh, so it's actually like a, a, a rubbish red ball then. Well, that kind of makes sense. So a bit like a, a rich energy. <laughs> so I shouldn't laugh. They were a serious firm. <coughs> Right, let's put some red through it now. Actually, that's not as dark as it looks on camera, I promise. It's just the camera makes it look very dark. And I put a bit of white behind it, that one should pop out a little bit more. Oh, 
Obviously, you don't want to dry it too quickly because if you dry it too quickly, it starts to crack. That new hairdryer is wickedly warm. I wouldn't want to stick that on my bald spot. Right, so now it reds. So that's a bit of pin around the roof that's red. That bit there is red. So in theory, where I've written it all down, I shouldn't pick out the wrong section, he says. I've been having a bit of a squeaky bum time over painting this because I've like you have to be super sharp with all your lines and get all your points right and, and so I've been measuring uh, very carefully to make sure it's all balanced and even and slightly out of my comfort zone doing this but if you keep saying no you're never going to improve Right, so that's red, that's going to be red, that's going to run up there, and that's going to run around there and then down the other side. I think, personally, I think the picture quality for Facebook is terrible, because it's, it's gone really, really dark. There's no reason why it should be this dark, because the light's no different to how I have it on, on Twitch, and this would be much brighter. Oh, cool. I, yeah, I was just trying to work out how we'd, how we'd spoken, but you just answered my question for me, Chris. Nice one. That'd be interesting to see what turns up. Right, so now we're going to do some red. Oh, I've got a bit more red there to do as well. There's not actually a great two a great bleh, teeth in. There's not actually a great deal to this design. It's just trying to make it look because it's obviously a crash helmet design. So getting it to look right over a, a touring car over different angles has been really hard to to get it to look right or to look because obviously the back of the crash helmet is normally at that angle. And I've gone and laid it flat down like on that angle. So it's a case of it's trying to use a little bit of interpretation. That's a very polite way of saying it. Oh right, that's how we know. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, twitch, yeah. Micro RC, yeah. Yeah, well, no, see, because I I did think about using OBS, but um I couldn't then figure out how to get the chat up because you can't have the chat set. Anyway, I'm sure you'll tell me how to do it, but I couldn't figure out how to have the chat separate. You know, like you'd normally do with Twitch, you have the OBS running and then you showed me how to have the pop out thing next to it. We, you can't pop out the chat from uh, Facebook Live. It doesn't, I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, I'm sure I just got to press a, a different button, which I haven't pressed. but. I couldn't see how it worked. 
and I know you have a, a deep hatred for Facebook, so I was like, well, well, I better not ask. Otherwise, I would have run it through OBS. Right, red. It's a nice red this. This is a really nice, this is like a pillar box sort of Ferrari red. I really like this. Really nice colour. Hello Jason. Obviously, the, the actual painting side of this, hello Nellis, um, is the easy part. I spent way too much time painting, uh, just drawing this and scaling it. And It's a wicked red. Technically, it actually is wicked red. So, triple zero five, wicked red. Oh, here we go. We get right. Andy's going to give us all a bit of bit of feedback now on on uh, on Wayne Rainey's question. <laughs> As well, I was saying to you the other day, I said I'm not actually a. Well, I have been to a couple of MotoGP races. I went to the Wet Donington um, and I don't know what year Silverstone I went to. I think it was the first first round of Silverstone, the first year. Silverstone was dull, was dull and then since. It's much easier getting out of a MotoGP race though, because everyone's on bikes. Obviously, I'm not. I'm a right. I'm a. I'm a driver. So it was well easy getting out of there. 
not like getting stuck at a Grand Prix like uh, Silverstone. It takes like like two hours to move anywhere. Right, so that's the red done. Thank you, Aaron. He uh, did actually send this is this was Mark two, so um, and he did have a couple of goes to say no, I don't like that. Try it. try this and try that, and then he sent me a doodle of what he would he wanted, and we kind of we met in the middle. This hair dryer is so much more powerful than my old one. Right, I was going to use um, this, the Quicksilver Chrome rather than the Mirror Chrome. I think the Mirror Chrome is the wrong finish for this design because it's more of like a... Um, that's an old one actually, let me get rid of that. See, look, there you are. There's, there's £90 worth of Chrome. They're £45 a bottle. Yeah, brands, brands would be wicked for MotoGP, but they obviously wouldn't allow it now. Too much fun. We could do pearl, pearl silver. What do you reckon, Andy? Do you want a, a, a slightly shinier silver? Or do you want a, a slightly satin silver? I'll let you choose. So the next section we're doing is actually I should back the back the uh, the red actually. See, I, I used to, I used to work at Brands, and um, I went into work the weekend after the World Superbikes. One of the years, somebody went straight on on the Grand Prix loop, and their bike went into the trees, and they didn't survive, and um, went in the lockup like two days after to get I think it was the go-karts we were working on that day and anyway the, the bike was sitting there or what was left of the bike so the right, we're gonna go with the shinier silver I don't want to use the mirror I don't think the mirror is gonna look right I'm not fading anything I'm keeping these all nice and sharp Don't, Tim's still learning. 
<laughs> That's very patronising. Sorry, Tim. Oh, see, I'm an Arsenal fan, so uh, I've been I've been to the show my age here. I've been to Highbury when we played at Spurs, and it was more of a fight than a football game. Right, so we're going to go with a slightly higher, higher chrome finish rather than the mirror mirror, which I don't think is going to look right. So we're going to go with the high chrome, not the mirror chrome. I don't know if that would still look better though. No, I think I think that I think the high I think the the high chrome. The expensive one, basically. I should really be talking myself out of the, using the expensive one. Mm. Oh, I was going to ask, do you, can I do the window frames in that chrome as well? Can you answer that? So, I've done the inner frame on the windows black. I want to use the same silver chrome I'm doing here and here. I want to use it around the window frames as well. So do you reckon that sounds good? So I'll just wait for a second because I don't know what the lag's like. Cool. Right, good. Right, I'll go with those on the window frames. When you use liquid mask, are you cutting the lines before you paint? Yeah, I cut every line before I start. Well, you've also got a secondary frame around the window, so you've got a set of, like, a, you can have chrome around the outs, outer edge, and then the inner frame is, is, is black. So you should have a nice effect. There's a, there's a, there's a black, there's a black pinstripe around the inside. You'll see, you'll see once I finish. Kind of like a, yeah. Yeah, Stevie, you want to do all your cutting before you you start with the start throwing paint because you can kind of see where everything's going to go and you get your lines lined up. Once you started painting, you can't really tell where your lines are unless you've got like a really bright light and you can see through. 
your paint. And I don't like going at a shell with too many sharp objects other than my wit once I've started the paint. Well, and obviously tweezers. That's a really nice red, I really like that. I should use that, looking forward to using that more. Right, old brush. Bit of cleaner in there. Wiggle it around a bit. Loosen it all up. Try and mix it up as much as you can. Then finger over the end with your guard on. Backwash it. Spit cup. It's not called a spit cup. Obviously, it's just an old cut up bottle of water. I like calling it a spit cup though. Well, you'd be surprised, uh, Tim. I mean, not that you see them often, but uh, apexes are very sharp. Oh, I'm going to get in serious trouble with the current Mrs. Basil because I've got my work trousers on rather than my paint trousers. So whoops, so I've got to be careful. They used to call that, uh, that, that bank opposite, they used to call that the knife edge across the top. So as you come down from uh, um, Druids into Graham Hill Bend, the paddock bit there that everyone parks up at. Aaron, is that right? Oh yeah, a apexes are massively overrated. You'd be surprised how much grip, well obviously you know how much grip's on grass. That's why I reckon I'd be super good at rallycross. So I, I've been off track most times anyway. Right, now this stuff. Uh, three light coats. Build it up slowly. Very lightly. Because you'll get strong runs and streaks in it and it'll look rubbish. So you've got really... I don't normally do such large sections in it. I should have thought about this. I literally dust it on. Is Australia. Probably the same as it was the other night, but I just like saying, How's Australia? So, hashtag Basil Worldwide.
So you literally are just dusting this on. You done the school run yet? That's ironic because I'm six foot six. No, actually that's a joke. I'm five 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 ten on a good day. Well I'm a bit more slouchy, I'm about five eight. Now I used to go through a bottle a month of this chrome. See if I can give this camera a bit of a kick. I don't know why it's going so dark. It's Facebook.
Well, I think this is a better shine. I think the other stuff would be too, it's too mirror. You have to get the heat back out of it, otherwise it doesn't peel very well. It stretches. Well, I would have been um, nine years old in 1987. Here's a, here's a, here's a really random silly fact for you. My house, well, the ro my road, there's a petrol station at the end of my road. So there's half a mile down the end of my road is a petrol station. Services the motorway called the A2. Um, 
and there's a petrol station on there called the Tollgate. And if uh, if you Google Tollgate petrol station, um, because I'm like 15 minutes away from Brands Hatch, the F1 teams used to um, because there was lockups at the petrol station at the time, and the F the Ferrari F1 team of the time rented the lockup petrol station at the end of my road, and there's pictures on a Sunday morning of of of, of, of some random week before the Grand Prix of them driving an F1 car around the local um, uh, village, testing it. Where did that turn? Okay, where does the uh, Valentino Rossi, um, oh God, Spain, or what year? Uh, between the two Yamaha riders, where does that rate for you? That rates very highly for me. That's one of my sort of last best last laps. Right, when spraying liquid mask through a gun, you have to be careful to get into all the nooks and crannies and the wing posts are notorious for the liquid mask separating along with the, the, the door pillars as well the liquid mask it kind of runs rather than sticks so if you're spraying it from with a high well a psi it will run off and not stick So there's a petrol station at the end of my road and it's called the Tollgate Petrol Station. And there's a picture of a Ferrari driving round a little village called um, I Stood Rise. And I could literally, I could throw a stone to that petrol station, well, on a very, really good day. That's it, Lorenzo, I couldn't remember his name. I remember watching that, I nearly pooed myself. Right, so we're, we're just doing white now and we're done. So I'm just making sure I get all the little bits out because obviously there's nothing worse than I know they're there and they're going to annoy me. So I'm making sure they're not. There's also the one at Donington where he um, he passes, I'm going to say Sete Jibber now, I could be wrong. Um, the other dude crashes. Mugs him on the last corner.
I'm now racking my brains for any other laps I can think of, and that's that's about it. I haven't really watched MotoGP since it went uh, pay per view. The year I went to Donington, I don't actually remember the year. It was the year that Massa, it was uh, Hog, uh, Hungary, and he got the suspension spring through his crash helmet visor because the day of the Grand, the day of the Grand Prix, I was staying in a hotel. And I was sitting there furiously Googling the F1 and no one gave a rat's what's it about the F1. They're all bikers. So that, that, that's... The brightness has come back up again. When I put that there, it brightens the turn it over. Tolls down a bit. Isn't that odd? I think I think I've got that right. I just did enough red to make it look you'll see it when the white comes on. And then you get the window frames are going to be chrome with a black edge as well, so they're going to look quite sharp. So there is detail in this. Right, so white. This is the best way I could think of of uh, offsetting such a, a black bonnet was to do highlights of white around the door pillars. So it should still stand out really well, even though there's a lot of a lot of white. They're black. Hello Stefano. Thank <laughs> you. 
um, Andy, what year crash helmet is this of, of Wayne Rainey? Just so I can get a good photo of it when I um, post it up. confused. It's not going to take me that long. Uh, that's short. So it's Yes, I, I put that up earlier, so I've just that's the first one without any music to it, Colin. So that's gone up way sooner than the other ones. They haven't argued or anything. So that was the touring car shell I did the other day, which I wasn't very happy with when I finished it. But that was a practice shell. Uh, so you can now you can just about make out the, the the pinstripe on the inside of the window. I'll take some better photos soon. You get to see them. I, I like this sort of double uh, pinstripe now. Cool. Right, so that's, that's a relatively quick video for me. That's what, two and a half hours? Blimey. I hope everyone's sort of getting to the use to this uh, new normal. That's a phrase that's quite useful now. Um, uh, no music. Obviously I've got my headphones in. So I have music playing. I'm kind of getting used to having them in my ears now. They were a little bit awkward to start with. I was like, oh, I'm going to get myself some of them um, posh iPhone ones without the wires. And then I saw how much they were and I thought, you know what, I, I can cope with the wires. No, no, to be honest, uh, Colin, I kind of, I listened to him. I probably shouldn't have done, but he didn't make me. That gold was a little bit... Mm. That shell might end up in South Africa. Or the bin, I haven't decided yet. The 
blue worked well on it though but it was a, it was a good pra it was a, a practice so I don't mind trying things and um, you learn more from these um, <clears throat> interesting finishes I do love removing the permanent marker from the front when you can see how all of a sudden all the sharp lines come out for the grills. It's like, oh, that looks so much better now. It was the blue that spoiled it. Who suggested the blue though? <laughs> I can't remember actually. Golden purple, it does not work. I've decided, fact. It cost me a body shell to figure that out. But I learnt a lesson. And I, I do find them quite fun when I sort of, I'm going to go live and I don't know what I'm going to do. So in future I might be a bit more organised as to um, my design path rather than going, what do you think? This colour or this colour? No, I've got no offers on it. It's still, it's still sitting in my... Uh, what am I going to do with it drawer? I think the person that, uh, I think Zen Racer, I think I figured out who it is now because they messaged me as soon as I finished. I went, is there a ultra lightweight? And I went, no, it's a normal lightweight. And they went, oh. And I know from since. So I think he would have had it otherwise. But he didn't ask me what shell it was. So that's sitting in my, what am I going to do with it? I might actually do tomorrow if I get time. I might put a picture up of all the ones I've still got left that I haven't sold. So I like to remove the permanent marker lines uh, from the overspray when it's going on the internet, the pictures, because it'll uh, I don't want anyone to give anyone ideas that it hasn't got it has got pinstripe when it hasn't. The window frames actually, I think they look really sharp. They really, it really goes nice. You've got this nice red 
pin against the black pin and then this white it does it really does it looks quite nice right so all done so kind of a quick one although all the time was spent in it not there's not the, the, the painting side of it was actually the quick bit so hopefully that looks like Wayne Rainey's crash helmet Andy, I'll speak to you shortly or in the morning about post, post and stuff. Um, wicked. Right. Thank you all very much for watching. Kind of a quick one. It's not even 11 o'clock. Blimey, what am I going to do? Right. Thank you very much for watching. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good night.